in Karachi, Pakistan. A female oh. officer enforcing ban on Juma prayers uh, was beaten by a mob. A group of Muslim men in a mosque violating lockdown orders beat up a female officer that approached to arrest them. The mosque yeah. in Orangi has been known for religious extremism and not following orders to stay home to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. People are still continuing to worship in large groups. So in the video, at least the one that I saw, it seemed to happen, um, the recording seemed to happen like immediately after she was assaulted um, because, I mean, based on the translation that I saw, um, she's saying like, record them, they attacked me, they broke my glasses. Um, and you can see kind of like a cut on her face um, oh. near where her glasses were. Um, I believe her name is Shafarat Khan. And um, they were supposed to be following orders of restricting Friday prayers to five people. Um, they weren't. There were a lot of people in that video. And um, police have also registered a um, case for violation of Section 144 against the mosque's management and the unidentified persons in this video. But the police have also said that so far no arrests have been made in relation to this case. Where was this? This was in... Okay, Shopam, you you tell us more about this if you can. This is in Karachi. I mean, this was in Karachi. Uh, it's yeah. in Pakistan. Basically, Islam is your line <laughs> Oh, wait, this is in Karachi? Okay, so... This is... In, yeah, you, yeah, but closer to you, though. Racist. It's the same race as me, but it's the same religion. <laughs> it's the same ex religion. But I've seen some videos. Uh, I saw some videos. I don't know if it was from India or Pakistan as well. That uh, the the police were running away, and the people at the mosque were chasing the police because the police were ca coming here, coming to the mosque to stop the gathering, stop the prayer. Uh, and the the Muslims were like not having it. They're like you can't, you're basically. That was pretty insane. Like I saw that so many police were running away and there was a giant mob running after them. Do you guys see that video? Yes, like, it was crazy. Yeah, where was that? That was where that Pakistan? video was? I don't know. It was yeah. in it was in Pakistan, but I don't know where. Okay, that was also in Pakistan. I thought that was in India. But man, I, I actually it can't I, I don't I don't know if that could happen in India because if that happens in India, that like the the backlash to that on Muslims would be insane, you know what I mean? So yeah, if it, in, yeah in Pakistan Muslims are a lot more daring than in India. In in India Muslims know that they have to be the victims. Okay, in India if, it depends uh, which state it's happening because in my state if Muslims do that they can get away with it. I would say they can get away with it. Oh, okay. My state. In your state, okay, okay. But yeah, that's so insane. Like, imagine how messed up your ideology has to be to beat a woman for trying to tell you to do something for your own safety. By the way, a lot of people might say, like, oh, natural selection, um, it's let these people die, it's fine. And that's, that's bizarre because, I mean, these people are going to spread it to everyone else, right? And then you hear some other people. I, I even hear some people that I admire say this. Like, hey, like, you know David Pacman, right? Yeah. He said that, you know, if these people were not spreading the virus, I would be fine if they just do these things and get the virus among themselves. If we weren't spreading it to other people. Like, no. I mean, th these people don't deserve to get sick just because they're stupid. I, I, I just want to make sure, like, I don't know. I just always want to make this clear that, you know, people say, like, if the, it's natural selection, if they were only dying themselves, if they're only getting sick themselves, I would be fine with this. But the problem is that they're spreading it to other people as well. No, even if they were only getting it themselves, you should be against that. You know, one thing I say is, like, if, if your ideology makes you take the side of the virus over the side of the humans, there's something wrong with you. You have to recheck that, right? We are trying to defend all humans, including the stupid ones, including the mm -hmm. religious ones, against their own stupidity, right? So, anyways, um, do you guys yeah, want to add anything? Do you, do you think, I don't, uh, 
it has anything to do with because the officer was female they were like you know women can order us around or something like that man in addition yeah, to their race, yeah it could be because she was female she it, didn't it have her hair covered or anything either you know oh, maybe really? if it was male then uh, it, they could have been not this violent maybe it's weird to me because uh, it's also a lot of muslims would not dare i mean they would hit their own wives but they wouldn't even look at the in the direction of a woman let alone hit her so the fact that these people were so triggered to actually go hit a woman like this i don't know what they were like i mean it's, for some muslims that's also like even touching a woman is like an islamic let alone hitting her so that's weird or maybe it was a day you no know, i don't know this is i don't know, this is a very bizarre story so yeah the okay. video's not good at all the video is not good okay yeah of course <laughs> what am i saying uh sharon, sharon is saying the police woman should have shot them helped them achieve glorious martyrdom everyone wins no wow sharon that's pretty no we don't endorse what sharon is saying nobody i i hope nobody goes in. even in even the people that actually hit the police woman i don't even wish ill on them okay Again, I don't I don't like killing, hitting, violence. I don't ever think that's a solution to anything. It's not even a solution in response to violence unless it's happening while the violence is being inflicted on you in self-defense. But I don't know if you could I mean that woman would be in much more if she shot these people, she would probably die right there. Right right? She would probably if she took her gun out and started shooting any of these people, the mob would you know I don't know. And my prediction that that would be her last day. But go on, Shapam. Sorry. No, I was like, yeah, I think uh, in self defense it could be okay because there was this case near me where like a woman was being raped and then she was about to be burnt alive and when she was thrown into fire, she grabbed her rapist with her inside the fire. The rapist died, but the woman survived and was hospitalized. Oh, and yeah. so I mean, she she basically kind of killed the rapist, but it was self defense you cannot blame her for that and you cannot uh, feel sorry for the rapist holy cow what well, ishaq in the live chat the uh, youtube live chat is saying do you want them to live and have the opportunity to kill ex muslims wow ishaq what do you like okay so wow. <laughs> so if i wanted to fix the way you're thinking i would have to be completely genocidal and be like yeah just to be safe let's just kill every single muslim out there so that we don't so that so that i am not at risk of being killed by muslim like come on guys that's a very dangerous okay. way of thinking. i mean does he realize that this could be the argument uh, this argument could be used by muslims in islamic countries for killing atheists right and then and then and we ad- advocate for not killing or harming atheists just because of their uh, disbelief yeah i mean if you went... argument and say oh they are atheists they will be speaking against us so let's just kill them now i mean even if you're actually being completely selfish it would be more dangerous for us to go advocate killing <laughs> like oh my gosh uh, <laughs> <laughs> like our personal safety would be a much greater risk if we go out and say like yeah let's just kill these people by the way then you, you can talk- then you can really earn your terrorist label <laughs> <laughs> right that's crazy that's it yeah i mean okay by the way i think youtube is going to go crazy on this video because we kept on saying use kill and muslims in the same sentence so many times the youtube algorithm is going to be like this video needs to be not seen by anyone ever so please share these videos because the youtube gods are striking us down every time i'm telling you like our, our atheist republic persian show with it has with much much less subscribers it's getting so many more views every time we go live because they do the alg- youtube algorithm doesn't recognize persian words yet right so our english channel gets strikes like gets deprioritized and suppressed um even though our subscribers are growing our views are going down so please share our share our videos what what is that <laughs> david smith in the live chat is saying jesus take the algorithm <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's great 
<laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we always appreciate any um, sugar in the super chat or PayPal if the super chat is taken from us by the spiteful gods. Uh, or just share the videos. You could do that. Yeah, as that's well. true. Sure. Yeah. Hit it's the easy. like button. Yeah. Wait, let me see what uh, Himen is saying. I think people should have the freedom of choice, you know, even if they want to commit suicide. That's their choice, and we should respect the freedom of choice. Yeah, we have we respect their choice, but we also try to con trying to convince people out of something is not against their choice, right? If, for example, if you want to convince people that their religion is nonsense and they would be uh, they could live better lives not believing in such nonsense, people, if you come and say like, well, we should respect their freedom. Yeah, that's why we're not putting a gun on their head and telling them to leave their religion. Convincing people out of their positions is not against their freedom of choice. Okay? Because also, you also yeah, about it, yeah, I just want to think like it's actually against their freedom of choice if you do not give them multiple options. Like if people are like, why can't you respect people's decision choices and start trying stop trying to tell them about telling them that the religion is false? I'm like, why are you not respecting their freedom? Because if you don't if they are only exposed to their own religion and they're not exposed to other ideas, they don't then they don't have any choice. Right? They don't actually are not, they're not being offered different choices. It's only by showing them other options than the religion that they actually tru truly get to decide. So if you want to respect people's choices, give them choices. Uh, I mean, we got a super chat. a super chat. Yay, Chris. Chris is all so generous. Thank but you, Chris. Chris is saying, like this Exodus 2120. Yeah, yeah. Chris is, and, um, t had taken Susanna's quote and he changed it to a christian version don't forget to whip the like button like his exodus 21 20 yes I like now, now i'm feeling confident and i think i have to uh, look up some hindu words for the hindu version for this book. yeah find the hindu version for that i have to translate what shopam is saying because your audio is crap shopam so i'm repeating everything you're saying uh <laughs> but it's okay uh, all right so let me actually Thank you so much for the super chat, uh, Chris. That's very sweet. Or sugar uh, daddy for the day. Sugar daddy for the day, yes. Um, <laughs> wait, where am I going? All right, let's news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh like oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we can email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 